Coastal Enterprises Incorporated has been working with the Maine Department of Marine Resources and the Land for Maine's Future program to help protect key properties along the coast and preserve the fishing industry in these areas. Tom talked with Jim Merriman of Potts Harbor Lobster about the ways in which CEI helped him expand his business and allowed him to go green. Jim, thanks for joining us. Now, My pleasure. How did, as a lobsterman, how did CEI help your business? In 2009, uh, the company that I own, Potts Harbor Lobster, um, we entered into the pilot program, which is uh, through the state of Maine, it's Land for Maine Future, uh, to purchase, to help in the purchase of some commercial working waterfront in the town of Harpswell. Um, it was in, in the form of a grant, um, so CEI kind of facilitated that whole process, which was quite a lengthy process. Uh, Hugh Copperthwaite was very instrumental in, in kind of a, walking us through all the uh, procedures and steps that we had to, we had to complete to uh, be recipient of, of the grant. And fortunately, we were and helped us with the purchase of the uh, what used to be the Bibber Wharf, now is Reversing Falls Lobster Wharf in Harpswell. And so uh, that's kind of how C CEI uh, played played a very instrumental role in, in helping that pro helping us with that process. And your wharf now is home to how many fi uh, lobster boats? Uh, there's there's five five lobstermen there. So you right. all work together on this boat. Now you've really done something unique uh, right. for the first time in the state of Maine, a commercial lobster wharf that's gone solar, right? Yeah, that's correct. Talk a little bit about um, that. I had this idea two or three years ago when I purchased the property. Um, it had an existing wharf with a roof. And I'm like, wow, that's got some really good exposure to the sun. Um, wouldn't it be neat if we went solar? And so I kind of tossed it around uh, talking with different solar companies that could possibly help. We kind of struck out a little bit. Uh, we finally found Revision Energy, which is right in Portland. Um, through a friend of ours who said, hey, you might check these guys out. Um, kind of kept it, it was a small group of people that knew that I was trying to pursue this, this angle. Um, so they, we talked to them uh, a couple of years ago and they said, yeah, it's doable. Um, the first step that I had to do was take down the existing wharf that had stood um, for 35 years. It was showing signs of, of wear and tear uh, after 35 years exposed to the harsh elements. Um, so we, uh, we did that, we completed that project this past spring and put a new roof on it, redesigned the roof to hold the panels, hopefully that was, was going to happen. And throughout the summer, we uh, went forward with the, with, the, with the plan of going solar, um, hammered out the, the details and just September 6th, the panels were installed. We are currently on the grid only at night, and we are it's a 10 kilowatt system. It runs the refrigeration, it runs the pumps. Everything that the lobstermen need to conduct our business daily um, is now being run by solar power. And is it tied into the grid? It, so it, it is tied, yep. So we, our, our meter runs backwards during the day, which is, which is cool. And uh, throughout the night, of course, uh, when, when the panels become less efficient, because of the lack of sun, right? Um, right. We're on the grid. Yeah. Yep. And and it's also green. It, it reduces. Emissions. Absolutely. We are per, we are reducing our carbon footprint by twenty thousand pounds a year. And as a Maine lobsterman, we practice sustainable uh, conservation measures every day. And as a business owner, I want to take it to another level. Why not do what we can do on land to make sure that doing our small part for water quality, because that's, that's a real success in the state of Maine, our lobster fishery. We have such good water. It's, it's clean water. We don't have the pollutants that, that the American lobster is where they found in, in other states. And so doing our small part to uh, ensure for future generations of Maine lobstermen uh, that uh, we have a viable industry. Yeah, and yeah. so I'm really excited about it. And we, do have, we do have plans in the future to be 100% um, s sustainable as far as renewable energy, clean like energy. Net zero, that the amount that you put into the grid comes back. That's to right. That Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Well, I'm hoping that you know, if anybody watching this and wants to emulate what you're trying to do uh, can do it. Yep. How would they contact you? No, I know you, have, you just mentioned you had a website that might be up soon. Can you talk about that and how people can? Right. Potsarbalobster.com. Um, we are redoing 
uh, our website currently. It, hopefully, it's going to be done in a week or so. Um, it is. It's, we had to completely redo it to take over the new phase of our business. Um, and they, hopefully in a week that will be done. But in the meantime, it's 833-5775. Uh, we'll put you right in the office. Great. Well, thanks a lot for joining us, and I appreciate what you're doing for the environment. Uh, absolutely. Thank you very much.